hi all welcome back so what we are going to see today is that how to skip the duplicate entry which is already present in my database so let's say that we have this excel of data that is present there okay and in this excel of data what we are going to do we, we are going to put this data into our database so this is the database table that i i have created here all this data some data has already been inserted in this table and some data is yet to get inserted but next time when i am trying to insert the data i want to make sure that from now onwards no duplicate entry should get inserted so in order to have no duplicate entry what we can do here is that make sure to identify some unique column identify unique column in your data in your data whatever is the unique column try to identify that because based on that data that will distinguish the complete row of data so let's say like in this day one age gender marital status occupation lot of data is there so here pin code is there so what i am doing as of now is i am making that unique column is going to be pin code so our requirement is that two pin code should not exist two same pin code should not exist in that table it should get skipped if user is from the same pin code pin code then it should get skipped so like this kind of requirement is there after that what we have to do here is that we will query the data we will query data to check if uh, if data of that column exists or not in our case it is nothing but the pin code here pin code exists or not so like this one we will check if exists so next thing is that if it exists then what we will do here then we will remove that uh, row Rem we will remove that row if that kind of data exist here else if it let's say like data doesn't exist it is a new data then store the data so this is the basic workflow to check the duplicate entry and it is going to help you a lot in your interviews as well like when they ask you like how would you uh, find the duplicate data so like this one you can answer that now let's move on to our creation part like how we will do that if you have checked out my la previous video which was to import the data into the excel so there we have tried to create this rule there which used to format the data so as of now it used to format here first 20 data and all this data are already seen 19 data and this 19 data are already in my database table this 19 rows is there okay so this 19 data it used to format and do that so how this rule used to work A remove function i have done read excel sheet paging is there I am removing the columns and then I am using for each and formatting each of the data here. Okay, and finally the data is cast into its particular record type. Next time what I want, I want to create a rule to check the duplicate data. So what I will do here, check and remove duplicate entries, duplicate data click on create button this rule is going to check that whether that particular data is already there in the table or not now this rule we have created now first of all what we have to do here identify the unique column that is data pin code so what we will do this format data is as of now giving my complete data here i will create a rule input of the same type excel data only complete data we will get it in that from there we will extract the pin code okay uh, so what i will do ys underscore excel data so whatever the excel data is there we will get the complete data set from this rule input and it will be multiple data type so in this ri i am going to get all data let me just create here local bank local variables and here i instead of this 20 data i will put here let's say five data i guess five data it might be able to take it okay let me just select all the data click on copy here and paste it in this one so see here i got some data okay it is able to not able to select so maybe five data we are not able to write so we have to like uh, remove one data from here so here i will go here and make it here four four data we might uh, write it click on select all from this one here and copy and paste it click on test okay fine so it is working fine here now three data i have got from here right so from here i can extract the pin code as well local bank pin codes uh, whatever the pin code we need to check we can get directly from here so ri bank ys excel data and then i can get here pin code so excel data dot 
pin code what are the different available pin codes that is present i will first of all get it let's see what are the different pin codes we have got these are my three pin codes that i have got here okay and after this with this three data i will try to query my tables as well so local bank available data so what is available already in my database table if you check in my table only 19 entries were there okay so these 19 entries i need that so i have already created a query rule here in order to get the data here so i will copy that query rule uh, rule bank and this query rule is going to do what it will try to query the data for what for this particular pin code three these three particular pin code it will try to query the data local bank pin code i will put it here only that's it this pin code is of type list of text string so make sure it is multiple now let me just test my rule once again now you can see here uh, what I have written here I have written I have tried to find what is the pin code what is the available data and I have just called the available data let's check it once here see here seven data I'm able to find it but these seven data are coming from what these pin codes only so if any of the new pin code basically see this is the new pin code I will make the here new I will write it here like this one new pin code these are my new pin codes and I need to check like whether now with this new pin code already some data exists in my database table or not basically that we have to find now what I will do here I will find like local bank existing pin code what are the existing pin code so now I am going to write existing pin code local bank available data and then I will write here excel dot pin code so it will try to find me what existing pin code it will try to find see these are my existing pin codes these are my and if this existing pin codes matches with my new pin code it means that I need to remove that array so what I will do here I will remove local bank remove or local bank duplicate data which is the duplicate let's try to find it first so it will help where contents will help a lot in this case the value that we are going to find here local bank existing pin code these are my existing where you have to find this data in local bank ys not local but ri bank ys excel data and here we have to find that it has to be uh, excel data only and dot pin code so this is the ys pin code let's try to check it now see here you will find one two three all the three are duplicate data only it means that three data we have tried to write it here if you see it three items were there and all these three data already present in my database so what I will do here make sure that whatever you are making it is a, a of the same data type otherwise where contents used to break so I have given here two uniform string here as well I will write it here two uniform string it will make a array of strings here so these are the three finally I will try to remove the data so local bank remove data okay and how how to remove the data remove function we will use from where you have to remove the data so I have to remove the data from the RI and which data you have to remove here so local bank duplicate data this is the data we have to remove and finally I will return what remove data this one so you can see here all these data were removed so zero items what if I try to change a single pin code here let me just try to change a pin code here instead of one I will write it here three three as well now it is a something different pin code click on test tool so that particular row will not be able to find and see this three three will get written in the database so this is how it will work now save your changes now we will go back to our process model this node we will just this was the process where we were formatting data and writing in the database now we will take another script task here okay and here we will try to remove duplicate and open this script task go to the data tab output tab new and here we will call that rule here rule bang this uh, what is check and remove duplicate data click on this one paste it here and now ys excel data what is in the excel data it is pv bank ys excel data we have written and here we will make a final data list final data here also we will make it and it should be of the excel data only and okay it has to be y ys excel data it will be multiple click on ok and ok 
now I have got the multiple as well we have to go and click on the setup and make final data make sure that null check is added here if null check is not added here then it will be a issue here click on null data and now let's configure it to the end node if data is null then it will not go to the right records otherwise it will try to you know like break so what I will do here is null or empty PV bang Y final data if final data is null or empty then go to the end node otherwise go to write records okay click on publish the process model now what we will do here here in the format excel data we have tried to call this output here ys format data how many data it is formatting 4 but instead of that now i will give 50 data click on save changes so for 50 data at least some data will be you know like a new at least some data will be new so i guess hope so all the data are not duplicate let's try to find it out now 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 let's try to find it out click on refresh remove duplicate and it is see here now it is trying to write the data here so total 50 data again if if null check was not there what would have happened from beginning how many data are there 19 data and how many new data is there 49 49 and plus 19 how many it will be 58 data but let's check in the database how many new data are actually written instead of 58 just 34 is there so just 15 data got written here and all the duplicate data is not written here so see 98 is there what if i try to run the process once again then all the data is already present it should go to the null value see all the data is present and it has gone to the null checks so now it will not try to write the duplicate data again in this table so this is how we have tried to create a rule in order to remove the data so based on different use cases the approaches can be different but basically like try to identify a unique column and based on that unique column only we will try to query data to check if that exists or not same thing we have tried to done here as well we have tried to check like what is the new data what is the existing data we have tried to find whether that data present or not if that is present then we have tried to remove that data and after that we have returned the result after removing that data so this is how we have done that here so that was all for now thank you